us. That's cool. Fun. They can't catch us because they are slower. Because they're not steamships. But that didn't help at all. Actually, you don't have to go there anymore. Um, you go stop down here. I don't want up the hundreds of guys here. No, sir. Okay, I am angry now. Uh, now we can intervene if... if uh, the Turks get angry. And ironclads take a long fucking time to build. out of that is because you get some good guys now. Um, is because I didn't feel like fighting them. And it would have taken a long time to get anything out of it. And it was making my my infamy drain go lower. I didn't really care about the end result of it. Etc. Etc. Basically, it was gonna, getting me nothing. So, yeah. Hey, look, they got 76 guys. Sardinia Piedmont, you're gonna regret having that. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna eat it. Okay. Um. Brazil, I don't really care about Brazil. So, whoa, whoa. Okay. Doesn't look like. They can do anything the rest of the Scandinavia, though. Yeah. What about here? They're not even trying to capture that. Why? And why is that colonial? Uh. Because it's Scandinavian? Weird. Okay. Um. Yeah, they're still losing. Why are they still losing? That's so weird. Hmm. Whatever. So I'm gonna cut and be back when something else happens. Okay, I'm switching my focus here from that to capitalists because, um, yeah, um, I can't build factories being in this. And I can't change it until the end of the year, so, um, I'm gonna build some capitalists to uh, help uh, you know, get a little bit of dudes here. No, but that should be really good once, it, once it's done. And then I'll move it, because that's a lot of dudes. So let's check our other focuses real quick. Nope. And Russia has again failed to uh, defeat the United States and get this part of Mongolia again. So, 
not necessarily an unexpected response, uh, or outcome, I should say. And we have dis discovered, create a new colony in Zambia. Awesome. So, um, yeah. So if we can colonize anything around that? No, we can't. Okay, so, um, let's look for a new potential colony to turn into a state. And that. Um, that's pretty close. Uh, on its own, looks like. That's not even, not even a thing. Okay. So this place is pretty. Well, these places are being worked pretty well, but down here, not even close. Places had the colonial growth thing. British, Telugu, people from India. Um, I don't know. Well, clearly, uh, the next best thing would be to do it in India. So let's look at India. This is already a state, so the region map. This is a state. Um, this is not. So we're looking. There's no there. Zero percent, pretty much everywhere. Um, <laughs> there's not even any British people there. Because this. Um, oh, that's not a. So just over here. But here. A little bit. Okay. Well, let's work this. So. We'll get the south of India first. Because for some reason they're the same color. Oh no, they're slightly different. Okay. Because this is already a state. And then we'll start working on the rest of it. Okay. Uh, Kokand ex grants extraterritoriality. News reaches us from Kokand that they have decided to allow foreigners to be tried according to the laws of their native countries. Doubtlessly caused by pressure and with some circles of the great powers, these news these are good news nevertheless. Uh, so we get some uh, increased relations with Kokand. But F that is. Who is that? Aren't they dead? Oh them, okay. Oh, whoa, whoa! And it looks like Russia has sold the, the sold Alaska to the United States. Huh. A lot of times they don't do that. Um, there's an event that fires that to give them the chance to do it, but a lot of times they don't. That's really interesting and kind of scary, actually. <laughs> see how that ends up. Aww. Yeah. Figures. Huh. 
Chamber of Commerce protests. The Chamber of Commerce in one of our states has lodged an angry protest with local government, complaining that the government's economic policy of economic interventionism harms local businesses, harms local business by distorting the fundamental logic of the free market, inspired by the Enlightenment publications on free trade and laissez-faire, and the, by the French physiocrats in the Scottish Enlightenment. The Chamber of Commerce uh, demands that the government's policy change and that they be left alone to conduct business in the matters they see fit. Uh, if their demands are not met, they threaten to raise the issue to the national level. Again, perhaps some slight adjustments locally could be considered, and all pops in Leinster Connacht in Ireland could become 5% more liberal and gain one consciousness. You could say, I refuse to submit the political demands by the entrenched elites, and all capitalists gain one militancy, become 10% more liberal and gain one consciousness. Let's stir the pot! Fuck you guys! Let's see if they rebel or something. Okay, we've discovered staff command support, which increases our mobilization size by 1%. I'm not sure that's ever going to come into play, but it could be, you know. What the Italian patriots? What the crap? Whatever. Colonial discontent in Jobalpur, I think. Yeah. Um, an equitable thing. And some order. We have discovered scientific management. We can build cigarettes now. Yeah. Awesome. Um. Now. Now we want these things for that. Yes. For navies. Alright, um, since we have, uh, in the Mysore region, we now have several factories and one's building, and I'll expand these two. Um, we now have, uh, enough uh, factories basically to go for a while. We're going to cut out the Encourage Capitalists. I'm going to move to find the next place where there's a lot of British people. Um, what about here? Twelve percent. I don't know. That's even worse. And some of that's not even in there. But here. Uh, I don't know. Let's let's just go for Bombay. No, I think this has a better chance. So Yeah. We've discovered analytic philosophy, which gives us seven point five prestige. That's cool. I suppose. Oh, also, because we changed to the appointed, we got... It's all mixed up. Oh, look at all those socialists. Holy crap. That's actually quite a bit at this point. Uh... Okay. I was just talking to them, too. like the last part of Italy that uh, the Rome has uh, designs on is uh, yeah just about to uh, probably fall to Rome we'll see okay so we've got whoa we got this crap with uh, Cambodia So we've discovered basic shipbuilding R&D, research and development. Um, increases our clipper convoy production output by 10%, which we're not using anymore. So I don't know if that's going to be useful or not. Oh, this is uh, Spearing Sakoto, which I don't want to do. Uh, I have the GTFO mod installed as part of the package, but uh, I don't want to use that if I don't have to, so I'm just not going to sphere them for now. 
and we discovered Portland cement. Awesome. And, uh, Rome just won its first battle against, uh, Modena. So, yeah. Things are going well for them. Looks like. Yep. Okay, so I'm not sure what triggers this, but we can use the National Conference and the Lavish Exposition. So, research, obviously, really good. So, we're gonna do that. And, uh, prestige. So, that's great. Big jump. Some steam engine stuff. Steam engine. Great. Okay. So, um... Hmm. Let's look. What do we got? Boot factory. Probably use this. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna cut this one short for now. Uh, so, happy 700 to all of the British, uh, British Celtic Empire people. And, uh, yeah. We now have the ability to take Malta, which is awesome. And, uh, Bohemia has failed again in this war against Scandinavia. But, uh, America has gotten Alaska from Russia, and they've prevented them from taking over Mongolia yet again. Uh, we've lost out on Punjab. Uh, the Turkish Caliphate has taken them over. But we, uh, our, our allies, we've failed in our war against Brazil, mostly because of, you know, not, not interest. I didn't really want to fight them. Um, but our allies in Rome are doing good. France failed to do a war, so. Basically, just been hilarious incompetence. Um, but we are down to... 18 infamy, so, um, yeah. We could, theoretically, uh, protectorize these people. Not, not quite yet, but, um, uh, the next session. And can we do that to Bengal? Uh, we can, so, yeah, we should probably do that. But to do that, we will have to at least fight uh, the Turkish Caliphate. But we don't really know. I can't look at their advisors or anything, so. Uh, prepare for that. And uh, which technology should go on? Um, iron loaded infantry, uh, iron muzzle loaded artillery is sim I'm thinking simply because it's the only level 2 tech we have. But um, other than that. There's anything else that I'm missing uh, the point on. Let me know. Otherwise, I'm just going to go for that. But, yeah, yeah, we should discover um, Manifest Destiny. Awesome. Uh, we should discover uh, the ship thing pretty soon. Or, wait, that probably needs something else. Yeah, that requires me to have pre-dreadnoughts, but, uh, yeah, um, I needed to have that anyway, so, steel steamers, I need that, I can't get that until 1880, and of course, we're a little bit away from 1870, so, like, uh, railroads will unlock, um, this will unlock, this will unlock. Basically, lots of stuff will unlock. So... Don't know if that unlocks. Uh... Yeah. Oh, this unlocks too. I don't know. Should I just save my points and just put it into one of these guys? Or, uh... Or what? I don't think this unlocks it. It's just keep going. We'll see. Uh, and then we still have to wait a long time to get to 
machine guns, but I'm not sure if there's another... Another thing that gives me more... Um, life rating. I don't think so. If what, it would be in something like this or something, but... Uh, honestly, I don't know. So, yeah, I'll see you next time.